The purpose of this experiment is to see if the ionized water is electrically conductive when contaminated with dirt. A random sample of dirt is collected. A small lamp is connected to a PP3 battery and the separated conductors are dipped into a glass of deionized water. A small amount of dirt from the vacuum cleaner is added to the water and stirred. As the dirt dissolves into the water it becomes conductive and the lamp lights. For this reason I would not recommend spraying fine water mist onto live electrical equipment as the contaminated runoff may be conductive. Deionized water also becomes conductive if salt is added. This scenario could easily occur on a vehicle after the roads have been salted. It is not recommended that electricity and water is mixed as you can see by using this electric drill battery and a pair of stainless steel plates a small voltage will cause the hydrogen bond of water to break causing hydrogen and oxygen to be released into the atmosphere. For the purpose of demonstration a small amount of bubble mix is being added to the water to trap some of the escaping gases. After a short delay a flame is touched against the bubbles. Over a period of time a larger build up of hydrogen gas could be quite dangerous. A similar hazard can occur when standard drain cleaner and silver paper are added to water which causes oxidization and again breaking the hydrogen bond by stripping the oxygen from the hydrogen. These hydrogen bubbles are now highly flammable. This volatile vapour is easily ignited by the smallest spark. A PP3 battery and a piece of wire wool is all that's required.
For this reason, I would recommend that all electrical equipment is protected by a suitable fire extinguisher containing a non-conductive extinguishing medium